Hey there everybody, Phil here for AndroidCentral.com and we've got kind of a weird look at my TV here with uh, the Motorola Photon 4G attached to it. We're going to root the thing, right? So uh, you're going to need a keyboard, you're going to need a mouse, and you're of course going to need the Photon 4G and the HD dock. And you also need to say thanks to uh, Edgen at XDA Developers for putting together these instructions that we are going to use here. Excellent job, dude. So here's how it works. Um, I'm actually going to do it all through the web top here. You're going to need to uh, download a couple apps first. One's going to be super useful. User. And the other one you're going to need to do is SSH Droid, uh, which basically, if you've never SSH'd before, it lets you connect one computer to another. So that's really what we're going to do here. Um, and I did a little cut in the video because the market was taking forever. Uh, SSH Droid will allow us to connect the Photon 4G to another computer, and that's what we're actually going to use to uh, root it. So we're installing SSH Droid here, and if you haven't used the web top uh, software, it's actually not horrible. So I'm, I'm using the keyboard and mouse here to control uh, the phone on my 50-inch TV, which is fun and a little ridiculous. So starting up SSH Droid, and what that does is it opens up a connection that you can use to get to uh, this phone from you know another computer. I'm going to do it from my laptop. So we have that done, and then you've got a little address up there that uh, you see, and you will plug in. See, I'm just going through the instructions, making sure port 2222 is open. Yes, cool. Back, back, back. All right, so now according to the instructions, and you're actually watching my first time doing it here. Um, so now you need to open up Firefox here on WebTop. Remember, that's what WebTop does. You're actually running Firefox from the Photon or the Atrix, if you have the Atrix, uh, and then stream not streaming it, but it's being output to your TV. So now we're gonna go download a file. I don't know where the file is. I don't know what it does. It's all very mysterious stuff. No, it's actually, it's the rooting, uh, the rooting files that you need are in this thing. So if you don't know what a tar is, a tarball, it's, you know, it's a zipped file, basically. Server not found. It'll help if I actually type it right. So let's go back and fix that. Oh, it's so nice using a full keyboard for stuff like this, right? There we go. All right, so you're not actually going to save this file. You're going to uh, just open it up in the little extractor that it tells you it wants to open to. And there we go. So now there is the file on the right. If you've ever extracted a file before, it's all pretty self-explanatory. You want to change the uh, directory it's going to. Again, follow the instructions. I'm just showing you what it looks like. But uh, read the instructions at XDA because they might well change as well. And extract. And that's it for the web top. So now we're gonna dive over onto my laptop and we need to SSH. I'm using Windows, so I'm using PuTTY to do it. And so I uh, remember using the SSH Droid app on the phone. It gave us a little address. So 192.168.1.125 port 2222. So that's what's letting me connect my laptop to the phone. And you hit connect and now you get this. It almost looks like an old DOS window, right? Uh, type root because that's what we're using, and then admin, and now we're connected to the phone. Pretty cool. Um, so here's where you actually go through the, the rest of the instructions. Two little lines you have to type in, and I'm actually gonna get a little error here because I've already done this, but here's how you do it. Type, you type one more, and we're rooted, woo! So, Edgen, really good job, dude. Appreciate it. Um, our Photon is rooted, and you can have all the fun in the world you want with it. That's it. We'll see you guys later.